machine learning, automating factory work, producing better results than many real-life medical practitioners, and taking over the entire world with driverless vehicles. However, many problems are still left unsolved in the fast-evolving world of machine learning, and we're here today to fix one of those incredibly important problems. I'd like you to meet Bill Nye, the AI. Bill was brought into this world to inspire change in an environment where animals are terribly mistreated and left unappreciated for their sacrifice. And here's how we can solve that problem. A player's character is what defines them. They are spawned into the world to be what a player imagines to be their best self. However, we all soon come to realize that character cannot be developed in ease and quiet, and only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. So before Bill can begin his life in this new world, he has to face and conquer the monumentally difficult challenge ahead of him, Beginner Island. Now, while Bill experiences pure torment, I'd like to take a short moment to thank today's sponsor, Hathor. The ancient Egyptian goddess Hathor is considered the primeval goddess from whom all others were derived. She is usually depicted as a woman with the head of a cow or simply in cow form. You can find out more about her at tohathornottohath.com. Now we're back to Bill fighting for his life in what should truly be considered the most accurate depiction of hell. It seems he's coped quite well in this bizarre and scary new world. I, uh, I guess I don't really know what this says about Bill's character, whether he's easily adaptable or completely evil all along and always out. So now before Bill can compliment cows, he first has to learn to recognize them. We'll have to teach him what a cow is, and since there aren't enough images online of old school runescape cows, I did the labeling myself. We just had to go through a few images and put our own bounding boxes around what we see as cows. We may make sure to judge a cow from head to toe. This all took a couple of hours or so going through just about 200 screenshots and about a thousand different cows. Next, we have to help Bill see the world as we do by training our machine learning model on the newly labeled cow images. It took just a little over two days to complete by slowly getting better and better. But we immediately see and observe some common problems with Bill's eyesight. The first is underfitting. In short, everything looks like a cow to Bill. He sees snippets of black, some drops of white and thinks, oh look at those two different cows not seeing the whole picture. This happens early on in training as Bill hasn't yet learned that a cow is more than a whole more of a whole animal as opposed to being the separate parts of one. Now since Bill's sight hasn't yet converged as the fancy would say, everything remotely resembling a cow is determined to be one, including some players and the poor old milk lady. Another common problem is overfitting. While Bill thinks nothing is a cow, Notice how the boxes around the cow flash a bunch, it shows Bill is often unsure of whether or not these are cows because they may look exactly they may not look exactly the part. This happens when Bill trains so hard and for so long on the same cows that I gave to him that he sees nothing outside the scope as a cow. Now somewhere in the middle of all that comes perfection. The boxes still blink around a little bit, but what really matters is that in every frame we can identify multiple cows and pretty accurately. Bill has now acquired sight, even if that means all he sees are cows. Also, I haven't mentioned that the machine learning model that I use is called YOLO. I couldn't have made that up if I tried and it stands for You Only Look Once. It's the world's leading real-time object detection algorithm and it's open source plus its author has a sense of humor. It is one of the more efficient algorithms and it doesn't take any new images or many new images to produce a new class to be detected, like cows. So Bill is going to have to now learn some manners and I don't have any of that knowledge myself so we'll do the next best thing and google it. So this seems like a nice good old list that we'll, we'll make it work. Now we have to put it all together by writing a program to teach Bill to move towards the cows he sees and complement them at the same time. We start by taking a screenshot 
and letting Bill see and locate the cows in each image. Then he right clicks on them on a random one and finds the walk here button and clicks the walk here button letting Bill, letting Bill move towards them while he takes his time to type out his compliments. So our first round of testing is just to see if he can properly waltz his way over to some cows. Okay, so he manages to click on a cow, find and press the walk here button, but a cow walks away before he gets there. So he's just like a little, um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. And yeah, so it looks like he clicks on a place that the cow was just a second ago. So let's see what's going on in Bill's head. So after some tinkering around in his messy mind, it seems the images are being delayed by 4 seconds or so because prediction just takes way too long. And I tested the program with a bunch of optimizations to bring it down to 3.1 seconds. But it turns out that the main issue is my half-baked potato of a laptop. So that method is a dead end. However, Bill did manage to click on some cows. They just happened to run away too quickly before he could get to them. There happens to be a way in RuneScape to follow any creature and even get them to be face to face with you. It happens to be as simple as changing a right click to a left click. Now we just have to wait for Bill to go ahead and click on any cow he chooses. And there we go! Bill goes towards the cow, compliments it right to its face. And well, Bill does end up having some anger management issues, but at the very least, he's doing it while making the cow feel a little bit better about their meaningless existence. And here are a couple more examples of Bill just going about his day making the world a better place spreading joy to each and every beautiful bovine just as the goddess Hathor herself would want. He does end up hurting about 14 and a half cows, complementing a plan right here, and as an unfortunate form of karma gets hurt as well in his mission to complement all the cows in his land. And he's dead. Anyway, I end up calming Bill down a little, convincing him to just miss the cows slightly when clicking, but still run over to them as soon as he sees them to avoid the whole deal with right clicking and having to find the walk here button. It works best on cows that don't move as often of course. That's it. This is my first video here and I would love to know what all of you think about my content, whether you'd like to see more of the problems and bugs I ran into or less of the engineering process entirely. I love applying machine learning in new and wacky ways and would love to hear any of your messed up ideas. Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if any of you happen to be friends, family or romantic interests with Michael Reeves, Code Bullet and Mark Rober, please tell them that it's a dream of mine to collaborate and that I kill all the cows necessary for me to get there. Seems like this calf just got clicked on twice. That means double the compliments, but I think that also means it'll get beaten to death by Bill Nye. This poor little cow. And that's a wrap folks, you know the drill. Go ahead and vomit on the like button, take a big old poop on the subscribe, and gently tickle the notification bell. Once that's out of the way, think seriously about all you want to achieve in life. Think about the improbable nature of all the different small but profound occurrences and events that led you to become the person you are today. Think about all you are and all you ever could be if you just started doing what you were meant to do. And go ahead, past all odds, and procrastinate anyway. It's been a blast. Bill out.